Bible verses about dying to self, part 6. Hebrews 12, 2. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Romans six fifteen, What then? Are we to sin because we are not under law, but under grace? By no means. First Corinthians fifteen, forty two through forty four. So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable, what is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory, it is sown in weakness, it is raised in power, it is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. Luke 14, 33. So therefore, any one of you who does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. Romans 14, 8. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Colossians 3, 5 Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Matthew 22, 37-39 And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. John 15, 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Philippians 2, 8 And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death even death on a cross. 1 Peter 3, 15 But in your hearts honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect. Thank you, Father, for a true we thank you, Lord, that your word teaches us how to live and how not to be conceited or have selfish ambition. Allow us to count others more significant than ourselves. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the work you're doing in us. We love you, King Jesus, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, Please like it and subscribe to our channel. We post videos weekly. You can also check us out on Instagram at Living Truth Co. Thank you for the support. God bless you.